three, two, one. Woo! Oh my. We're ready to go. Oh my We're goodness. We're ready to go. How'd I do? Uh-huh. Yep. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video here on Juice and Toy. So today we're going to bring you into the kitchen because we want to show you three different ways that we like to eat one of our favorite foods of all time, favorite. and that's salmon. Yep. So we have salmon at least twice a at week. Least. We love salmon. Yes. So we wanted to find different ways to not only keep it tasty and healthy, but mm -hmm. also quick and time efficient. We yep. don't have a lot of time, especially during the week, to just be in the kitchen yes, cooking. So exactly. we are gonna show you three different ways that we like to spice it up, but still keep it super tasty. Yes, and be sure to stick around to the last one because we're gonna show you our all-time favorite way of yes. making it. And if you follow us on Instagram, you know what it is. Probably asked for it. It's the salmon bites. So yes. stick around, we'll show you how to make that. The recipe is finally here. Yep. So let's, so get, let's into get into it. it. All right, guys, so we already have all of these meals prepped for you guys, yes. just to keep it short and simple for you. Yep. So we're just gonna show you how to prep them and then how to cook them, exactly. okay? So the first meal that we have is a citrus baked salmon, mm. all right? So this one's probably gonna be the most simple one. You can have this for lunch or dinner, or really whenever, whenever. it's super easy. Yep. So all you need to do for this one is cut your salmon filet and then season it really any way that you'd like. We like to use garlic salt, lemon pepper, yes. and the citrus blend. Yep. And then we love to have lemon on top just to give it a little bit more flavor. Exactly. So we threw on some broccoli. We want to bake with it because we like to make one pan meals. It's super yep. easy, super simple. Doesn't take a lot of cleanup. We don't have to clean a lot of dishes and it's, it's easy. Yeah, and it tastes your good. entire meal. Yeah. So exactly. we're going to throw this in the oven at 375 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. It depends on the size of the salmon too. Yep. Um, be sure to keep an eye on it. But, you know, that's simple, it's quick, easy, and Entire meal. let's throw it in. All right, let's throw it in the oven. All right, guys, so for the second recipe, we're gonna do a air fried salmon. Yep. If you don't have an air fryer, we highly recommend you get one. Yes. It cooks, it makes it crispy on the outside and nice and smooth and silky and, and good. And saves on, you time in the kitchen. Yes, it saves lot. you a lot of cleanup in the kitchen. So please go yep. get an air fryer, okay? So we're gonna do an air fried salmon. All we did, just like the baked salmon, we're gonna cut it up into a single filet, four to six ounces. And then we're gonna make a stir fry veggie sort of mix. So we just cut up some onions and some bell peppers and then some lemon just to add a little citrus, citrus, citrusy, citrusy flavor Flavors. to it, okay? And then you have a one pan meal. Exactly, so this is another super simple one. We're just gonna pop this into the air fryer, the salmon right next to the bell pepper and yep. onion yep. for 15 minutes at 360 degrees. Mm -hmm. But this is another one that depending on the size of your salmon, you might need a little more or less time. Yes. All right, and then if you don't have an air fryer, again, you can throw this into the oven yes. just like the first meal we showed exactly. you. Okay, all right. All right. Let's Let's throw it in. All right, guys, here we go. This is it, this grand is why, finale. That's why we're here. Grand finale. Okay. This is the one you've been waiting for. If you follow us on Instagram, you've probably asked for it. Probably. This is it, here it is. <laughs> so these are salmon bites, and the good thing about these is if you're used to eating filet salmon and you're getting tired of it, this is a perfect way to switch it up. It's really good. Yeah. Um, you can eat it as an appetizer. You can eat it as a meal. We eat this game at least. Days, yeah, game meals, days, meals, everything. We eat this at least once a week. Okay? Yep. So the biggest, this takes the longest prep wise, but I promise you it's worth it. And it's okay. not even that long. It's no. still super quick. Exactly. So all you need for this is a pound of salmon, and then we cut it into bite-sized pieces, toss that into a bowl, and then we, we grabbed about a half an onion, but depending on if you like onion or not, we love onion. So we put a half an onion, diced it up along with green onion, tossed that into a bowl. We added about a half a cup of breadcrumbs along with a whole egg, just so it can bind and stick together. And then lastly, we added our favorite seasonings, which is garlic salt and some black pepper and just some, uh, I think we did garlic powder. Garlic yeah, powder, yeah. yep, exactly. And you can season those up any way that yeah, you'd like as exactly. well. So yep. then all you're gonna do is mix all of that together, blend it nice and well, and then form it into little balls. So we're also throwing these into the air fryer. So depending on the size of your air fryer, you'll yes. wanna play around with the size. Yep. We do about an inch in diameter. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, yeah, you're gonna make little balls, put them into the air fryer for yes. about 12 to 15 minutes mm -hmm. um, at about 375 degrees. Yes. So again, this is another one. You'll really wanna good. watch it and yes. just 
make sure it cooks all the way through. Yep, and be sure um, to spray the pan also so yes. it doesn't stick. Yep, and yep. then throw them in there about 12 to 15 minutes and you'll have a surprise waiting on you. You're welcome. All right, you're welcome. All right, all right so let's throw these into the air fryer and then eat some salmon bites. Cool. We're halfway through. And it smells so good. It smells so good. Can you imagine so having good. three different types of salmon oh my cooking at the same time? That's looking good. So we have about three minutes left on this one. So this is where we usually add a little sweet Thai chili glaze. You can add whatever glaze you want. Yeah. We like to do like a stir fry sort of teriyaki or sweet chili sauce. And then just a light glaze. Don't overdo it. It's going to be too much. <laughs> Um, but it just adds a little bit more flavor to it. And then we're gonna let that cook into the salmon for the last three minutes. Yep, and you don't wanna have that one, you don't wanna put the glaze on too soon because you don't want it to burn. All right, these babies are about, you wanna shake them up a little bit so they cook evenly, give them a little toss. Uh, but these are about, I'd say maybe three minutes away from being done. So yeah. Oh. There she is. It's good. Woo! Oh my. We're ready to go. Oh my We're goodness. We're ready to go. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, guys, that was all three recipes. Yep. It only took us 30 minutes to prep all three of these. So if you're just doing one of these, it shouldn't take you long to prep. And it's yep. super easy, super simple, really good. And the big thing that I want to take away from this is we barely used any oil. The yep. only oil we use is to spray the pans just so it doesn't stick. Exactly. So it's very free of a lot of fat, the only fat you And a eating. little on the broccoli, and that's optional. That's it. So, yeah, yep. exactly. So um, we have the baked salmon, the citrus salmon came out really good. Yep. And we have the air fried, stir fried veggies with the salmon. And then of course we have the salmon Last bites. But not least. This might be my best batch. I don't yes, know. I think this is definitely oh, the no. best batch. Yes. Exactly. So again, like he said, this took 30 minutes to prep all three of these. So if you've got 30 minutes, you can make three different meals. Meal prep. Meal prep for lunch, Easy. dinner the next day. Day. Yes. Um, and if you're just doing one, it's quick. even less than that. It's quick. so, so quick. Yeah. So if you like these recipes or like the way that they look, make sure you check them out. The link will be in the description to the recipes on our website. Yes. And one more thing, if you do try the salmon bites, yes. please tag us tag in your us pictures. On Instagram. I'm really curious to see what other people think of yes, these. So tag good. us on Instagram in yes. your pictures. We'd love to see and hear your thoughts on them. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Yep. Also go check out some of our other, we have other nutritional content on yep. the channel, but we're gonna give you more just like this. Yeah. So there are certain recipes I think you'd like to see drop them in the comments on this video because yeah. we're gonna start bringing you into the kitchen a little more so all right guys we're gonna eat all right we're gonna eat now we'll see you guys at the next video oh my lord oh my goodness wow talk to me nice that's definitely the best one talk to me nice i'm definitely the best back okay bet that was it oh wow how is it? It's the best I've ever made. Cry. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> How happy are you? This is the best baked salmon we ever made. I'm not even joking. You're lying. I promise. Let me taste. Let me have you taste it. Tell me I'm lying. That's the best baked salmon we've ever made. Can we have some more? Right? Just a little bit. We're really about to eat all three of these meals, lunch and dinner. I told you. Get a vegetable. Oh, I guess we should eat some veggies. Mmm. <clears throat> all, right, all right, guys, we're going to go now. We're going to eat. Mm.